Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to 12 News at 5. I'm Mark Curtis. And good evening, everyone. I'm Kariba Devine. Right now, we are getting a first-hand look at the high-tech fight against one of the biggest frauds in Arizona. Scammers using identity theft to steal billions of dollars meant for Arizonans out of work because of the pandemic. Joe Dana has an update on how deep the fraud goes. It's a shocking show and tell. In February, 11 alleged gang members in New York were charged for unemployment insurance fraud. The alleged thieves even posted photos on social media, posing with giant stacks of cash, one sitting on top of a Lamborghini. As prosecutors work to put alleged thieves behind bars, the feds now estimate anywhere from $100 billion up to $400 billion meant to help out-of-work Americans went to scammers instead. Online identity theft during the pandemic uh, has become a, a threat to our national and economic security. Blake Hall is the founder of ID.me, one of several private companies contracted to help states, including Arizona, defend against identity fraud. How bad was Arizona hit compared to other states? Across the country, everyone was hit hard. Arizona in particular, there's only 7 million residents, including kids, give or take. There were 3.5 million claims filed between March and October of 2020. An NBC review of Department of Labor data found that after states started using ID.me midway through the pandemic, the number of COVID-related unemployment claims plummeted by 85% in California, 91% in New York, and by a whopping 97% in Arizona suggesting huge numbers of fake applications. It just shows the extent to which the, the state workforce agencies were unprepared and, and didn't have effective identity verification in place. One reason Arizona was vulnerable, the state legislature failed to fund the computer system used by DES to process unemployment payments. It was the same system they had been using since 1988. What do we to generally assume yep. about the fact they were using an archaic computer system? Operationally, we have 1980s technology against, you know, nation state adversaries and some of the most sophisticated crime rings uh, on the planet. You can guess who's going to win that fight. DES tells 12 News they're overhauling their computer network and working with prosecutors to bring scammers to justice. Unlike the suspects in New York, however, many are out of reach, pulling off their scams online from countries like China, Russia and Nigeria. Joe Dana, 12 News.